Hi, my name is Rob Defilia. I'm the Business Development Manager for Film and TV at Epic Games. As a kid, I was always passionate about comics and cartoons. The first time I saw that first 3D movie, I was hooked. What's exciting about animation today is there's so many possibilities in different roles and careers within animation. From lighting artist, to technical director, to director, to animator. Go and find what suits you and where your best experience and talents are. The academic definition for an animator is an actor with a pencil. Animators are the actors of the film. They create the performance. I actually started in drawing, just like everybody else. And then from there, I was introduced to 3D animation. And that's where my whole world changed. My career started in high school, studying ancient Greek and, and Latin. But then I pivoted to photography and CG and VFX. So I got to experiment with a lot of these new technologies like VR and a little bit of this motion capture and virtual production. And then I saw the Star Wars ray tracing demo that Unreal did a few years ago. And I was like, okay. For me, the biggest thing is that you are able to take a light, change the shape of that light, and the shadows will automatically, in real time, change. And once I saw that, I was like, okay, this is the real deal. The best part of my job is because everything is so new, frequently you're trying to do something not with documentation or with a path, but just with a goal. Like you're trying to pave the road to get to the place that you want to be. And also, a lot of the industry standards and practices haven't been established yet. So if you get into it now, you have a chance to actually write a page of the book. And there's kind of room for everyone and anyone. If you're into coding and the more technical side, there's a spot for you. If you like to draw and make pretty pictures, there's a side for you. There's so many types of roles in animation. We had to invent certain roles and titles for our show because they didn't fit into traditional buckets. So if you have a mindset that's flexible and nimble and you're willing to help people figure out problems, those are the people that I want to work with. What I love most about my job being a technical art director is the fact that all of my days are completely different. I could start my day in meetings just discussing the creative needs of a project, but then other days I'm actually hands-on working in the engine, trying to decide what actually does look good. How can we make this effect look the way it needs to look? What should snow look like? So as an artist, you always know when your stuff is starting to look bad, that means you're getting better and you're getting ready to level up. And that's really exciting. I really like that as part of the job, that I always feel like I'm improving, I'm not stuck. And if I am stuck, that's where feedback comes in. Feedback's huge. Feedback and communication are key, especially in our process. We're constantly iterating. It's constantly building on top of things. It's never just your first idea. The people that are most successful in animation are those that are able to take feedback, run with it, and come back with something even better. One of the big character traits that is responsible for where I am today is my perseverance. I do not give up on trying to solve a problem until I've exhausted all the solutions. There are a lot of successes in my career, but there have also been a lot of failures too. But I think one of the really important things that has guided me through my career is being able to treat them as a learning experience and not necessarily something to hide or be ashamed of. The point of doing all of this is to try to gain as much context and knowledge as you possibly can so that you can innovate to the most dramatic degree possible. So I would say the characteristic about me that has helped me the most is the ability to learn new things without being afraid of not knowing them.